Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. We are going to go back to the past and we are going to work on the KTM today. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. I want to see this thing out of my garage today. I don't, I no longer want to see it on the stand. That's basically abuse for the thing. I am going to start with this thing, the carburetor. This is what manages the fuel on this machine. And as you can see, it's a little dirty on the outside. The inside looks really, really clean. And uh, this thing actually has a lot of new gaskets and things of that nature. Uh, it had one bad seal, but I have it this far apart. I have that new ultrasonic cleaner, so we may as well kill two birds with one stone here. Here is my carburetor. This is what it looks like before I clean it. It's kind of dirty and grimy. The inside though looks really, really good. I mean, there are some dirt particulates like up on the top portion. I have to clean the outside so that I'm not dragging this material that's on the outside into the inside where it's delicate. So I'm literally just gonna spray this with something, scrub it up, wipe it off, and we'll have a cleaner carburetor in just a second. Bam, clean. Don't, that doesn't look any cleaner. Yeah, it does, it definitely looks clean. You know what, it doesn't really look like it's that clean. All right, so now that the outside's clean, now I can break this down a little further and get it down to what I need it to look like. Now there might be some components that I cannot put in my ultrasonic cleaner or cannot, or cannot touch carb cleaner, and that's why we must be careful and we must take precaution. Whoops. We also gotta have a little bit of fun on the way as well. Tell me if there are any of you like me. Do, do any of you have a swimming pool? And if so, do you neglect to use it? Because I have a beautiful swimming pool out there. I am sweating. I am literally like like dripping in sweat. I, I guess not dripping in sweat, but you can see the glaze. I'm working on a KTM. No good. Are you, are you in the same boat? No pun intended. See, this is something that I won't run through the ultrasonic cleaner because it has a gasket. I could take the gasket out, but the chances are I would have to replace it. And this is something that's so easy to clean by hand that I'll just clean it by hand. I got the whole carburetor disassembled. This is what it looks like. I already sprayed carb cleaner in there, so it's soaking. Um, I'm not gonna mess with this because it has a gasket on there. I'm not gonna mess with that gasket. Now I'm going to soak the pieces that can deal with carburetor cleaner and that can go through the ultrasonic cleaner. So, I'm so I bought a can of this stuff. It's been sitting outside for a couple weeks. You know, there's only so many hours in the day. There's only, there's only so many machines you can work on in a day. There's only so much track you can build in the day. So now that I'm getting to this bike, we can we can finally use this bucket. Let's see what's in this thing. I'm hoping that there's like already a tray. It sounds like it when I rattle it, but who knows? Oh sweet. Now get some gloves for sure. Ow. Got a tray. Sweet. And I'm going to put the parts in that I can clean. Like brass pieces. I'm not sure if this piece of plastic will go. I probably shouldn't put that in there. I'll put the spring in there though. And then this part. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but the soaking stuff that I'm using right now, I, I might have said an hour or half an hour or something like that, but I did a little bit of research and it's supposed to be 12 to 24 hours. That's a long time. And I don't have 12 to 24 hours, so I wanna occupy my time. I don't wanna just stop and, and stop the vlog. I wanna continue on. I wanna, I wanna give you entertainment. And I wanna have a little fun on the Ranger, I think. The Risky Ranger, the Danger Ranger, whatever you wanna call it. This beautiful thing right here. Jake and I are supposed to work on this thing tomorrow. This is going to be a little bit of an issue. You notice how there's no fill plug here? It, it might be right in front of me, like on the, on the front part of the differential, but I don't really see it. 
So instead of like waiting on Jake and waiting on tomorrow to take this thing off, I, I'm, I think I'm just going to take it off right now. And if the thing is a rusty crusty thing, I would like to know that before going into tomorrow, because if we need to get a new one, I'd like to know where there's one available. Saying that, let's make things easy for Jake the Toilet Snake. Let's take this thing off and start the draining process. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that karma is on my side. Karma, you're not a bitch today. You're a beautiful lady. Usually you have a fill plug on the back here, and we do not, so I'm going to make one. Uh, Jake and I spoke about this right before uh, I started working on the dirt bike, and then he went to, uh, I forget where he went to, but he left. I, I already got his permission, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And just like that, we have a fill plug. Now, I don't know if that's enough metal to put threads in or not. We might just use like a grommet or some rubber plug or something instead. Because you guys saw that frame, you guys, you guys know what that Ranger looks like. I don't think this is gonna kill the thing. The frame's going to die or the thing's gonna fall apart before the differential falls apart. So I'll clean this all up for Jake, being a good friend, slap it back on there, and we'll get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is, Tomorrow we're gonna finish up that diff, we're gonna weld it so it's posy, then we might even get it onto the track. Don't mark my words when it comes to that. Mark my words that we're gonna weld it up. At least those are my intentions as long as the weather cooperates. The weather is king. My garage isn't big enough to not allow the weather to make the decisions. Booyah, installed. So we didn't finish like the dirt bike or we didn't finish this, but if you do the math, we basically finished a project. I mean, we did half of one and half the other. Math is good, kids, stay in school. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. And I'm glad that you stopped in. Whether I motivated you to maybe get off your butt and do a little bit of something today, or just gave you a little bit of entertainment for a little bit. No matter what, it's all good. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I try to make a video every day. When I don't, it's when I don't have time to edit. It's not that I don't film. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Yeah.